Good morning. My name is Elena Valero. My name is Elena Valero. I come from the I'm professor of physical chemistry at the University of Castilla-La Mancha in Spain. My current collaborators in the present work are Mere Mafia, Jose Manuel Villalba, Maria Isabel González Sánchez and Ramon Barón, all from the University of Castilla-La Mancha. I'm going to speak about our work on plant metabolic modeling, the ascorbate glutathione cycle in chloroplast under light dark conditions. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge all the organizing committee and the scientific committee of this 2016 conference on computational modeling with capacity for accessing this oral communication. PF takes approximately 24 hours to fully rotate, which produces a day and night phenomenon. During the day, the amount of sunlight reaching our planet is not constant and depends on a number of factors, including the time of day, the season of the year, altitude, latitude, atmospheric composition, and other factors. Living organisms have evolved to coordinate their activities with these light dark cycles, and this greatly influences their metabolism, their physiology, and even their behavior. Nearly 21% of our atmosphere is composed of oxygen. The molecule of oxygen in this ground state is a free radical because it has two impaired electrons with the same spin quantum number. This spin restriction obligates oxygen to take electrons one at a time, and this gives uh, rise to the generation of the so-called reactive oxygen species which are uh, harmful species which can damage cells. In our model, we will only consider superoxide radicals and hydrogen peroxide. The concentration of molecular oxygen will be a constant parameter in the system. In a continuously changing environment, plants are sessile organisms which uh, like uh, motile and mass are subject to a variety of biotic and abiotic stressful factors. For example, uh, intense light, drought, salt, heavy metal, uh, pollutant, etc. All of them can produce uh, these reactive oxygen species which can lead to oxidative damage and finally to cell death. In plants, in plants, chloroplasts are the main sources of reactive oxygen species, but they can also be generated in other compartments like mitochondria, peroxisomes, and other uh, sources. However, at the same time, additional signaling roles in plant adaptation to the stress have been reported for reactive oxygen species. That means that a good balance between their generation and their removal is crucial for plant cell survival. And this is our interest in computer simulation. Plants have <coughs> uh, different mechanisms and defense mechanisms to detoxify reactive oxygen species. On this slide, you can see one uh, of the first models which were reported about the ascorbate glutathione pathway. This is one of the most important uh, metabolic pathways to detoxify reactive oxygen species. This pathway involves a number of photochemical, enzymatic, and non enzymatic steps. And in this model, as you can see, it includes a constant source of electrons, the photosystem 1, PS1, which has two competitive atoms. One of them uh, leads to the photogeneration of superoxide radicals, therefore to oxidative stress, and the other one leads to the photo uh, production of NADPH, the reduction power necessary to detoxify reactive oxygen species. This model uh, has some quick points from the kinetic point of view. 
and therefore some years ago we decided to improve it. This is our first model which was reported in 2009. As you can see, it is similar to the previous one, but it's clearer. It also includes a constant source of electrons, which is divided among three branches, the photogeneration of superoxide radicals, the photo reduction of NDA radicals to ascorbate, and the photo reduction of NADP to NADPH. We have in the enzymes, glutathione reductase, the ascorbate reductase, and ascorbate peroxidase. This model includes a constant source of electrons. So, under steady state conditions, uh, excuse me, under non-stress conditions, uh, this model leads to steady state solutions for the chemical species and the enzymatic activities involved in the pathway. So, uh, however, um, in the literature, we have found that some uh, that these chemical species concentrations and these enzymatic activities are subject to the journal fluctuation. So our question was the following. Would it be possible to feed our system with a mathematical function uh, able to simulate the variation in solar irradiation and for several consecutive days? And the answer to that question is yes. This is our new model, which has recently been reported in BNC uh, Systems Biology. This model is similar to the previous one, but it also includes the enzyme monohydroscorbate reductase, which is very important for the recycling of ascorbate. The source of electrons, in this case, from the PS1, is not constant, but is directly proportional to the intensity of solar irradiation. Uh, the model has been designed so that the PS1 is switched on during the photo period and is off at night. We have marked in black and white those arrows which are switched on during the day and are off at night. These arrows are the one leading to the photogeneration of superoxide, the photo reduction of NDA radicals to ascorbate, the photo reduction of NADP to NADPH, and this arrow is um, the Calvin cycle simplified in only one hour. Panel B shows the mechanism of ascorbate peroxidase. It includes the suicide inactivation of ascorbate peroxidase in the presence of uh, hydrogen peroxide. And panel C shows um, set of chemical non enzymatic steps involved in the cycle. <coughs> Real data of solar irradiation uh, were taken from this European page for different months and cities in Europe. And we fit uh, experimental data to different kinds of mathematical equations. Here you can see an example from Madrid in 2014. <coughs> and finally, we choose the scene function because, as you can see, it provides a very good fit of data. Computer simulations were performed with the software Covasi. This is the complete uh, system of ordinary differential equations. At this stage, the model is able to simulate 15 consecutive days, but it's possible to extend this number. The, maxim, the maximum flow of electrons at times at midday is not the same for each, for each photo period, because we have obtained heat in the model by means of a random function with the help of capacity. Uh, this is the electron flow distribution under non-stress condition. And as you can see, the model is able uh, also to simulate that the duration of the photo period is not the same uh, every day during the year. In this example, we have chosen a positive increase for the photo period, like in spring. We are under non-stress conditions, so the, the 
most of the electrons are uh, deflected to the true electron photo reduction of an individual ligate. So this virtual chloroplast has sufficient uh, reducing power to detoxify the reactive oxygen species. Panel B shows an application for the first photo period. And panel C shows the distribution coefficients for uh, the first photo period. This is our run of the model under non-stress conditions. We have plotted uh, the concentration of the metabolites and enzymatic activities involved in the pathway. The most important difference with respect to previous models which were reported in the literature is that we have, a, we have obtained an oscillatory behavior. Superoxide radicals and hydrogen peroxide, for example, maximum, maximum concentration uh, under non stress conditions are below micromolar. In this run, um, we show um, the results obtained under more stressful conditions. It seems, I, I'd like to emphasize that the uh, in, in each run of the model, the results are never the same, never, never the same, because the maximum flow of electrons is a random, a random function in the capacity model. Uh, in this example, for, uh, in this, example uh, this virtual chloroplast has died on the day number 14, because, as you can see, the enzyme ascorbate peroxidase was uh, completely photo-inactivated uh, in this day. So hydrogen con uh, peroxide concentration increased very sharp. Okay. But in a, in a next run, um, your luck your luck could be can be different. Okay. In this run, uh, this is a run under extremely stressful conditions, and this virtual neuroblast uh, was died previous to the third hour. As conclusion and future work, we have designed for the first time a model able to simulate for several consecutive days the effect of the variation of the intensity of solar irradiance on reactive oxygen species generation and the toxification of chloroplasts. Chemical species concentrations and enzymatic activities show an oscillatory behavior in agreement with experimental observations. The model could be improved by taking real data of the variation of the intensity of solar irradiance, because at this moment we are simulating them with a scene function. And the model could be easily extended to include steps of crucial importance, such as carbon fixation processes involved in photosynthesis. Our mm, our research is uh, supported by the Spanish government with this research project. As you can see, we are also working in sensor development to evaluate the oxidative stress degree in plants. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions?